it. Don't be shy. Jolene can't wait to meet you for a trailer park Christmas. The trailer park way with a brand new recipe every day. Sending videos from her trailer. She's Jolene Sugar Baker. She is Jolene Sugar Baker. Come and spend the holidays the Trailer Park trailer way. Park Merry Trailer Park Merry Christmas. Trailer Park Merry Christmas. Merry Trailer Park Christmas. Hooray! Well, hi there, Trailer Park fans. It's Jolene Sugar Baker, the Trailer Park Queen. And welcome to the Trailer Park Test Kitchen. And welcome to Trailer Park Christmas 2018, where I'm showing you how the Trailer Park celebrates the holiday. Well, you should go to TrailerParkChristmas.com to download the free calendar so you can follow along, because I've got a video every day until December 25th. And I see today that it says cake extravaganza. And I've got a really great cake recipe today that actually makes its own frosting. Yes, that's right. You actually put it on top of the cake um, when you're actually baking it, and then it magically turns on top of the cake when you flip it out. I know it sounds confusing, but it makes its own frosting, and I'm going to show you how to make it up next on Trailer Park Christmas. I'll be right back. Welcome back. Making myself frosting magic cake is so simple. I've got a stand mixer here, but you could probably mix this by hand. I've got a half cup of butter that's already softened in the actual mixer here. What I've got here is three-fourth cup of granulated sugar, and I'm just going to dump that right there in the bowl. And we're going to cream this together until it's nice and creamy, and I'll check back with you in just a moment. Next up, we're going to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and you know I don't measure that, and my childhood pharmacist still makes my vanilla extract. It's so good in this recipe. Now I'm going to add two eggs to this, and I like to use brown eggs. I know people say they don't taste anything different, but I do like a brown egg, so let me go ahead and get these into the bowl. In the baking section, you'll find an unsweetened chocolate bar, and I've got two squares of that that I've melted down in the microwave, and I'm just going to add it here to the mixture. Now, give that a mix up. Okay, I have a half teaspoon of salt right here. That goes right on in the bowl. And I have two and a half teaspoons of baking powder. This is going to make our cake nice and fluffy. Now, I have some all-purpose flour here. One and one-fourth cup. And also some whole, um, whole milk, actually. And this is two-third cup. And I'm going to mix this in just a little bit at a time as the mixer is going until it's well mixed. So I'll check back with you in just a moment. Next up, you're going to use the secret ingredient, which is chocolate syrup, which is the kind you put in milk. And you're going to use three-fourths cup of that. So go ahead and get a cup of that. Anything in a squeeze bottle is okay by me. Now to the chocolate syrup, you're going to add a half cup of water. And you're just going to mix this around. And you're going to set this aside because you're going to use it on the cake in just a moment. I know it sounds scary, but I'll show you in just a moment. Wow, look at our batter. It's so pretty. I'm going to add 3 4 cup of walnuts. Now, you can add any nuts that you like, or you can leave them out, but I do like this in my cake, so I'm just going to mix this around by hand. Okay, we have our batter here, and I have a 9-inch baking pan that I've melted 2 tablespoons of butter in, and I've let it cool just a little bit so we don't cook our batter. But I'm going to empty out our batter uh, lightly over that butter. So let me go ahead and do that and check back with you in just a moment. Okay, now that we've got our batter in there, we're going to take our chocolate mixture and just carefully pour it on top here. We don't want to disturb the batter too much. You can ladle it out or whatever you like to make sure that it just stays right there on top. So... Let me finish this and check back with you in just a moment. Okay, I put it on a baking tray only because I can't imagine if this boiled over in my oven. That would be a mess. So that's just for safety. And I preheated the oven to 350 degrees and we are going to bake this for 35 to 40 minutes. You're going to keep your eye on it and go ahead and set your timer.
And there you have it, my magic self-frosting cake. And look at that. The frosting actually happened up on top. And that's kind of confusing because we put it on top of the cake in the pan. And then we flipped it over. And now it's on top of the cake again. And it looks all nice and chocolatey. And it's a nice chocolate look to the cake. And um, it was so easy to just whip up. And I'm just tired of, oh, look how fluffy it is, too. I just want to taste it here and see what this tastes like. Let me get some of the frost in here too. I can't miss that. And um, it's just so nice and fluffy. Wow. This cake is super chocolatey and would be so good with some whipped cream or some ice cream or mmm. And that chocolate frosting tastes so homemade and you really did nothing except make some syrup water for it and people will be so surprised and it was made in a jiffy and I really hope you get a chance to make this magic self-frosting cake and if you do send me pictures and post on here what um, when you make it too and I can't wait to hear all about it. Don't forget to like all my pages and uh, leave comments wherever you watch this video. And don't forget to download the free calendar and print it out because there's a video every day until the 25th. And I'm just so excited. Um, it looks like um, there is a gelatin recipe tomorrow. So I will see you back tomorrow. I really enjoy spending the holidays with you. And um, we've got more videos to, to come here from the trailer park. And I'm going to go finish this cake. Maybe find some ice cream, too. And Merry Trailer Park Christmas, and I'll see you back tomorrow. Tell your friends about Trailer Park Christmas 2018. Bye-bye. Slap on all your blue eye shadow. Watch out for that